So, Corey's in Wickenburg. One of our favorite places. We love Wickenburg. We do, we do. North and west of the valley. Yep. Mm -hmm. Stagecoach, wagon rides. Oh, oh look he's at all this. suited up and ready to go. Holy cow. <laughs> now, I don't know, you guys, when the last time was that you rode in an authentic stagecoach. Never. But we. <laughs> There's a lot of. Gian and hawing and all the rest, and we've got a beautiful team out ahead of us here, and um, we're out Wickenburg Way, which we love. Oh, here we go. And we've got Dale B out here holding the reins. Oh, sorry, we got uh, Johnny on the reins. Uh, now, Dale, I'm gonna situate myself here. Yeah, go right I'm gonna have to reach around. Uh, my shoulder here. Turn around this way and face the. No, there we go. The other way. Ah, there's your handsome face. We well, give us the lowdown. Tell us about the coach that we're in and uh, the horses pulling us and uh, the whole story. Well, this coach is a replica of a 1865 heavy Concord coach, but the real Concords were all made out of wood. This one's totally made out of metal, so it'll last a lot longer than the original. Mm -hmm. Well, the horses must appreciate the extra weight. Yeah, the team actually came from a guy that drove for Wells Fargo, and he passed away, and his son didn't want them, and I ended up buying them from him. And they're a pretty nice little team. That's Blackie and Jackie, or Jackie Blackie in the lead, and Tony and Jesse in the wheel. And Johnny here and me both, we both used to work at Knott's Berry Farm, drove stagecoaches at Knott's Berry Farm. Johnny drove a lot longer than I did there over the years. But uh, we decided to get this coach and put together a little ride. Normally we would be across the highway on Castle Hot Springs Road, but Monday through Friday they've got a big rock quarry there and the big rock trucks run back and forth on the road. And Saturday and Sundays they don't run. So that's where we normally run is out Very there. Very good. So who, who gets to enjoy what I'm enjoying right now how does it all work how can the regular all folks get out here is go to my website and i'll get that to you guys and they can sign up and make reservations and we run saturdays and sundays all throughout the winter up to about april and how many can we carry down uh, stairs in the coach i like a minimum of four we can carry up to nine very good and uh <sighs> I imagine that you get a lot of pleasure out of this oh, yeah. yourself. Uh, wh wh where did your interest stem from? I started at Knott's Berry Farm. Started driving coaches there. Johnny taught me. But even before that, uh, did you grow up reading westerns, know. watching the movies? Yeah, all the old movies in the 50s and 60s, because I've got a little age to me. I'm a little long in the tooth. So, yeah, <laughs> a lot of westerns. I grew up on westerns, and I just love the western lifestyle. I've worked at all the dude ranches here in Wickenburg, and had wagons and teams now for about the last nine years, and that's kind of what I do now. Well, it's really a fantastic ride. Now, I will say it's a little bit jouncy up here on top. What's what's? The, hold on. Let, let me ask the question before I only have the one microphone. What's the ride like for our uh, passengers down below? Well, it feels like a big cradle. It's on what you call thorough braces, and the thorough braces actually make the coach rock and back and forth. Now, people think it's for the enjoyment of the people, but it's actually for the horses. When they pull this thing and it rocks forward, they're not feeling that. So it actually was for the pleasure of the horses because they're heavy coaches. This coach empty weighs 3,000 pounds. Wow. Well, I love the physics uh, of the whole thing. And uh, what would have been the era when a coach like this would have been Arizona in use? I didn't see a stagecoach until the 1870s, late, late 1870s. Wells Fargo never ran a line in Arizona. They ran banks and express offices, but there were three or four different companies out of Banning, California that actually ran coaches over here and all the way up to Texas. So they started in Banning, California, went through Yuma, over to Prescott, down to Wickenburg. Phoenix wasn't thought of until the late 1870s. So, well, I'm sure that you uh, have seen just about everything from wedding parties to birthday parties to uh, old time reenactments and so forth. Uh, next time we get together, we'll find out exactly how you can get your crowd into or onto this beautiful coach. And uh, again, the country is gorgeous. We're out Wickenburg Way, as I said, and uh, we'll turn ourselves around and Hi there, and uh, get headed back uh, toward the ranch here in just a couple of minutes. You two, see you then. That is awesome. It's so cool. That I... is. Can you imagine? Like that's the way you used to get places. And I love the, the Sky Fox drone video as well. Those guys are doing I know. an awesome Talk job. Talk about out a cool there. vantage point, yeah, right? To see that thing go. Yeah. But can you imagine saying, "Yeah, I need to. I need to go to Texas. I'm in mm -hmm. California. Well, hop on. Let's go. Here you go. Yeah.
that whole way? I know. That's why you. That's how they did it. Yeah. AZAM is back. You looking for Western? Oh, we got Western for you. Yeah. Wick Wickenburg. Yes. That is a Western town, not that far from the valley. Mm -hmm. What about 45 minutes from downtown? Something like yeah, that? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe a little more. An hour, maybe. Hour, but well, still not far. Know. Yeah. Courtney, what, what are you on now? Are you, are you on a flatbed or a buckboard? Stagecoach? Yeah. Uh, I, now, see, I grew I grew <laughs> up in town, Troy, so I would call it a buckboard. <laughs> but uh, Marilyn here, who looks fantastic and knows what she's doing, uh, well, how did, how, I love when somebody says howdy. Well, what are we riding in now? Uh, this is a hitch wagon. I'm driving a team of large Appaloosas. Uh, Dale read my book one time and needed a driver. And he said, Marilyn, you're qualified. I need you to come down and drive this team for a day. Uh, I'm the last pioneer woman. I drove a horse-drawn wagon over 1,200 miles across three states. And wow, what kind of an emergency caused that? Or that was just for fun? It was an act of desperation <laughs> to get out of a difficult situation. <laughs> just sort of the, were you Thelma or Louise? I, well, anyway, I, I won't delve into the, all the particulars, but where was that trip? And uh, give me 30 seconds or so on what that journey was like. Well, uh, it was a 1,200 mile journey from Central Texas to Prescott, Arizona. I had my family with me and I drove four horses uh, for 79 days. And we lived in that wagon for a year and a half. Boy, what a perspective you have then on uh, the uh, founding of the West. Fascinating. Now, these are Appaloosas, you said. Or, or would they be a, a typical hitched team for this sort of use oh. in, back in that day? The right horse is never the wrong color. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's their minds that you need. You need a good, solid team that's not going to spook and run off just because somebody rides across the road on a bicycle. Mm -hmm. so. And uh, how do you figure into the Wickenburg world out here? Can can people meet up with you? Do you do hay rides or pleasure rides, or or is this just for your own enjoyment? Uh, I help Dale. Mm -hmm. He when he needs an extra driver, he can call me. Gotcha. So, like I said. After doing that trip, I'm qualified. <laughs> yeah, you are, Marilyn. Well, as we look on down the road, uh, we can see uh, Dale's uh, beautiful coach down there. Um, th that would have been a nice way to travel across the country. I suppose in its time before the railroad came, that was about as luxurious as things would get, right? Oh, yeah. yeah that's a beautiful stagecoach. It's just the top of the line. and and very, very comfortable. It's not as rough riding as the one we're in right now. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for sharing all your knowledge with us. And uh, as we sort of wrap things up, well, how did your interest in the West get sparked? Where did you grow? What was your hometown? Oh, well, you know, I think I believe I am the love child between a couple of Hollywood icons from back in the 50s. Oh, really? Yeah, Marilyn uh -huh. Monroe and Wild E. Coyote. <laughs> well, that sounds like a felony to me, but again, I, I don't make the laws. Uh, I'm glad you joined us today, and thanks for sharing your horses. We've got two friends back here. You are? I'm Julie. And? I'm Taylor. Taylor, thanks for getting up early, ladies, and uh, it's been a pretty nice ride, eh? Yes. Well, you, you both grew up around horses. Yes. Um, would you enjoy a 1,200-mile ride with Marilyn from Texas to Prescott? I love my horses, but I kind of like the city, too, so <laughs> I like them kind of in my backyard in the city, so I don't think that... I get it. Yeah. I'm all about it. I would go... I'll I would bet go you would. In, in a heartbeat. Yeah, you have a great trip. <laughs> well, thanks so much for joining us, everybody. And again, uh, you can... Uh, all of our info will be on our website, fox10phoenix.com. You can find out how to get your uh, family or your friends or your wedding party into Dale's beautiful coach up there, and uh, we'll get you all the details there. So... We'll say goodbye for now from out Wickenburg Way where everything's always wild. See you soon, you two.